Welcome to Radio Omni Lot. I'm Simon Eager and this is Celtic Pathways, a series in which we explore connections between Celtic languages and look for words with Celtic roots in other languages. In this episode we're looking at Celtic words for great, big and related things. By the way, the new theme tune is called Dancing on Custard. It's one of my own compositions, played by me on the harp. A proto-Celtic word for big and great is maros, which comes from the Proto-Indo-European moros, meaning great, or from meros, meaning great, considerable, sizable, or impressive, both of which come from meh, meaning to measure. Descendants in the modern Celtic languages include more, meaning big, great, or large in Irish, Mor, meaning big, great, large, or grand in Scottish Gaelic. Moor, meaning big, great, grand, heavy, or tall in Manx. Maur, meaning large, big, fully grown, and various other things in Welsh. Moor, or Mor, meaning great, grand, large, or substantial in Cornish. And Moor, meaning big, or many in Breton. Words from the same Proto-Celtic root via the Byzantine Greek maraon, meaning a sweet chestnut, possibly include marrone, meaning brown or chestnut in Italian, marron, meaning chestnut or brown in French, and morone, meaning sweet chestnut in German. How did a word meaning big in Proto-Celtic come to refer to chestnuts in other languages? Possibly because the edible seeds or chestnuts of the sweet chestnut tree, Castania sativa, are relatively large. Words from the same Proto-Indo-European roots include immense, meal, measure, meter, metronome, and possibly moon and month in English. Fermare, meaning to make famous, and mal, meaning meal, time, or term in Dutch and Meirth. meaning flattery or praise in Icelandic. You can find a transcript of this podcast, links of further information, and other podcasts at radio.omniglot.com. Thank you for listening and or watching, and goodbye. Slán, chíri, slénlet, hóil, dáweles, genávo.